So we are currently walking back across the Manhattan Bridge after a successful episode of the Great Dumpling Hunt. The first place we stopped was called New Chinatown Snack, which was very interesting because um, none of the menus were in English and the wait staff also did not speak English. Um, fortunately, there was a, a very nice young woman who was uh, kind enough to do some rough translations for us. And we managed to get ourselves onto uh, some very, very, very delicious steamed pork dumplings. The uh, consistency of the noodles was very delicious. Uh, they were thin and not that um, thick stuff that we can't stand. And the uh, inside meat was spiced almost with cumin. I can't pick the spice exactly, but it wasn't the normal dumpling taste that we got. Some nice greenery in there as well. Um, one complaint would be the consistency of the filling. Um, we like it a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say coagulated, but <laughs> that type of idea where it's thicker. Um, this was, I don't want to say mealy because that sounds gross. It was still delicious, but it would have been better if it was slightly packed closer together. So after having left New Chinatown Snack, we wandered about and I stumbled across the Golden Unicorn, which is a dim sum place that I went to very, very many years ago with some college buddies of mine. It's a family style restaurant that takes up, I believe, all six floors of a uh, Chinatown building. We were directed to the third floor and uh, set up in a nice little cozy corner, which was fun. Um, we did manage to get ourselves a hold of, oh, here comes the, here comes the F train. Hang on a minute. Actually, it's not an F, it's a Q. So I need to learn to do this when the train is not going by. Anyway, so it was a family style restaurant and we did manage to get our hands on their version of uh, steamed pork dumpling, which actually had shrimp in it as well. It was more of a shumai than an actual dumpling. Um, so it's almost like, kind of shaped like a marshmallow, um, but it was absolutely delicious. We did actually also have some real shrimp shumai, which were fab, and of course pork buns, which Susan and I both adore. Um, so that was more of a, a fun eating out uh, instance than an actual episode of The Great Dumpling Hunt because, you know, as you know, the rules are you get steamed pork dumplings and nothing else. But anyway, so any comments from uh, my lovely wife? She's shaking her head and saying no. So this is the first recorded episode of The Great Dumpling Hunt. I will be going back and putting up some written commentary about the other places that we have visited in the last... How long have you been doing this? Seven, seven months or so. So I think that constitutes about ten additional restaurants or something. Ten? I think so. Well, maybe more. Much more. Much more? Well, I, I, three restaurants in one day sometimes. That's true. That's true. But anyway, um, most of the places, uh, I will just list where, we, where they were, if I can remember their names. We will include commentary around the ones that were actually pretty good. Um, including Or bad. Or bad. <laughs> exactly. Our favorite still being Super Taste, I believe. Yes. Although I have to say the hand-pulled noodle place that we went last time was also amazing, but more on that later. Anyway, so any other comments? All right, then I'll sign off.